Were you near that point when you just thought, there's nothing I can do? No, not really. I've had the same cell phone number for nearly 11 years when they first came out. And one of the reasons that I wanted that to happen is so if he ever felt like he wanted to call me, he could. There's probably not a day that, that goes by that I don't think about him. You know, I'm always wondering. I feel a little better now because I know he's living in an apartment. Before, it was, it was, it was a huge challenge to think that, you know, he's on the street or whatever. And I know a lot of people probably think that, well, you know, he's living on the streets. That may be the case, but you don't really know it until you've lived it. And it's by no stretch of the imagination that my sister Dale and my sister Landy walked away from him at all. We never did that. We've always tried to make ourselves available. You, you just, you, you wouldn't even have an idea of what, you know, my family has gone through or, or what families go through that deal with um, mental illness. Um, it can be very destructive. It can be. It can be. You know, my mom wanted so desperately to, to help him that she wanted to start like maybe a home for the mentally ill or whatever. Her dream was to continue to help the mentally ill, including her son. So, you know, I've actually founded a, a uh, foundation, the Nathaniel Anthony Ears Foundation. And I, I feel very good because I feel like I'm, I am living my mother's dream for her.